cricket out here, the cricket ground. And um, at the moment what we're doing is, is uh, reshaping the surface um, to uh, a computer design so that the shape can be maintained from now forward, even for minor repairs. We can go back to the model and ensure that we get exactly the same shape every time. Because it's uh, computer controlled, the accuracy is there and it can move fairly fast. The system that we've got from uh, Position Partners is one that can be used to accuracies of millimetres. It's also 3D, so that the shape we're creating is, is not just flat planes, but it's a shape that suits the cricket ground. The cricket ground's a rather odd shape where there's a lot of fall to the south, very little or no fall um, from between the wicket and the northern end. The egg shape itself is also not consistent. It's quite a difficult thing to shape. Or originally, when we first started shaping, which I think was in 1997, it was originally very difficult, but Way back then, Gary Fleming um, helped us shape it by segmenting it. But uh, these days, with 3D control, it's just a whole new dimension. Apart from saving money, it's the degree of accuracy and the consistent grades and shape that, for a high-profile, world-class venue, it's just um, it's, it's just really well worthwhile.